Hi friends, today I'm using this inspo picture here and I'm going to recreate it by using this vacation dress. Um, I'm really excited about this, so let's get started. <laughs> To recreate this pattern, I've chosen this, uh, this is like a rib knit, is a, it's maybe like a sweater knit, rib knit, it's very um, nice, loose, um, nice stretch, it's soft, it's got these little stripes, and the color is pretty similar, it's a solid. Um, this is the closest color I had in my pile, and I think it's going to do great. I'm going to be using the stication dress, because the stication dress has got the bones, um, I just, the, there's a couple of things I need to change. The first thing I need to change is the neckline. Um, the stication neckline is a um, scooped or crew neck band neckline, so there's no V-neck. So we gotta change it to the V-neck on the pattern and we also have to create a new neck band to accommodate for the V-neck. Another thing I wanna do with it is when I'm cutting it, I wanna change the length of the tiers so that way it looks more like the dress. So let's get started. Okay, the sleeve's gonna stay the same, so I'm gonna put that to the side. Um, these are my tiers, so I'm gonna put them, them to the other side because we're gonna start with our bodice. I will probably not do a pocket because I'm not a pocket girl, I know. Ooh, I'm going to use, um, this is obviously the, um, the bodice, the front bodice, so I'm gonna put it here to the side for a second. The neckbands I don't need because we're not going to be using those neckbands, we're gonna change them. Um, actually, I have a couple sizes, so I gotta make sure I pick the right size. Um, if you did not check out, I did do a tutorial on how to sew this pattern up um, with a, a woven fabric, a non-stretch. Um, so check that out, that's what I had over there. Okay, so I've got my from bodice piece here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of it because I'm going to be changing the shape of the neckline. All right, so I grabbed some wrapping paper that I have left over and I'm going to trace my bodice onto this wrapping paper to create my pattern piece that I'm going to be using to create my V-neck. So I marked my back uh, neckline because I'm gonna do a whole new neckline. I am going to cut it short an inch here at the waistline because this, uh, inspiration picture has the top come pretty much right below the bust so I want it to be higher I'm gonna mark where my scoop neckline ends here because I want that I think that's how low I want my v-neck to come all right I'm gonna grab a ruler it can be any ruler it doesn't have to be this special ruler I just had this one right in front I'm gonna start here at the shoulder where the shoulder starts becoming the scoop here and then I'm gonna go here where the dot is, where my uh, color ends. Um, you can watch this and see how low um, mine ended up being with the scoop neckline where the neckline ends. But if you think that it needs to be lower, you can always go from here and add like maybe an inch or so, whatever you want. But you're gonna go from that shoulder point down to where you want your V to go. I'm actually going to go look at some pictures of the scoop neckline of the stication because, you know, from the top of my mind, I can't remember. Um, I'm going to look at them and see where that scoop neckline hits and see if I want it a little bit lower or if I just want to stop there. I actually have a stication with a scoop neckline, so let me put it on and I'm going to try to figure out what I want to do with it. All right, so here's my stication and it's got the scoop neckline and it's a little bit high, so I'm gonna go down about an inch. Um, but um, you, if you want to go down more for more of a plunging neckline or whatever you want, that is up to you. But this is the scoop neckline right here. So let's keep going. So just so you know, take into consideration that I went down an inch. So if you want it lower, you can go obviously lower than that. It is up to you. So we're gonna start at the shoulder and I'm gonna mark my neckline here going down to that mark where I created so this is my front neckline this is my back neckline um, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out and then we'll have to measure that to create our new neckband all right so when I cut it I'm gonna cut um, right down the front keeping the fold just like I would on a regular basis. The back I'm gonna cut exactly the same because I did not change the shoulder width, I should be good. 
sleeves are gonna be the same, everything else is gonna be the same, and then I'll come back to talk to you about what I'm going to do with the tiers of the skirt. All right, we've got that V-neck prepared here, and I'm hoping it turns out well. Um, a lot of times the V-neck has a little bit of a scoop to open it up more, so we'll see how this looks, and if it's too tight, then we'll have to kind of trim it out a little bit. We're just, you know, trying to get there. <laughs> Now, while we're here, we can go ahead and measure the neckline. And you can measure it from your uh, bodice already cut out. You can measure it from your pattern piece that you have right here. Either way, we'll be fine. What we're going to measure is we're going to grab a measuring tape. All right, now we're going to measure our neckline. And to do so, we're going to grab a uh, measuring tape. We're going to start at the shoulder seam and we're going to go down. For the front, it looks like nine inches for me. So front nine inches times two because there's a front and a back i mean a, a two sides i'm sorry so that equals 18. for the back we're going to measure from the shoulder to the front so you can stand up your measuring tape so that you can get just an exact amount and that's four so for the back it's four times two that's eight so that would be 26 times 0.85 I like to do my necklines about 0.85. I just feel like, you know, if you want them tighter, you can go a little bit higher or lower. It's up to you. Um, and this would be 22.1, which I'm just going to do a neckband, 22 inch neckband. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a neckband 22 by two. I'm going to do it by two inches. That gives me enough to uh, have seam allowance and everything like that. So that's what I'm going to do for the neckband. Now for the skirt. So usually if you're going to make the above the knee dress, you would cut at this line here and then um, you would use the second tier to get you to above the knee, which would be right here. Um, so I'm going to look here and see that there's only this much more that needs to be added. So I can go ahead and cut that piece off or just fold it and know that this is what I want. That's the extra amount that I want, just the little piece right here. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna elongate the top to match the, the picture because the picture has just a small ruffle. It doesn't have a very long ruffle. So I'm gonna elongate the top and I'm gonna create the ruffle. Now, for me, um, I am an inch taller than the pattern. Uh, I'm 5'7", I'm and the pattern usually is for 5'5", five five, so that's actually two inches, so I have to usually add an inch. So I'm gonna add my inch here, but for you, it's up to you how much, how much you usually add. So let me show you again. So the above the knee line cut is here. So I would put, I would cut right there for above the knee, and then this would be my second tier, you see? And it comes to right here. Now, I want my first tier to be longer than the usual tier of the stication dress. So I'm gonna go all the way down to below the knee, I mean, I'm sorry, to the uh, maxi dress cut line, and I'm going to measure what the difference is. That's what I'm doing. So from the knee cut to the maxi skirt, this is the difference. So this is how wide I'm going to, how, um, how long I'm gonna make that second tier. Now again, I'm gonna be adding an inch because I'm taller, but this is how long it will be, which is about four and a half inches of a different, of a, of a ruffle. So that's how I'm gonna cut mine. Now, if you wanna keep it, if you wanted to keep it the same length, you can do that, but that's what I'm trying to create that dress. Now, the reason why I like to show you these, um, sewing tutorials and I grab, you know, Ellie and Mac patterns and I turn them into, you know, like inspiration pictures is because, you know, sometimes a, a designer has a view in mind of the pattern and that's how they create it. And that's great. But sometimes we see something and we're like, oh my goodness, I wish I could make that. 
Well, a lot of times you already have patterns that can help you very easily to achieve what you want to achieve. And all you have to do is just change a couple of things. And I want to give you the encouragement to know that you can do so and give you a little bit of the knowledge on how to do so. Um, so the next time you see something on Pinterest or on, you know, just on TV or whatever, and you're like, I really want to make that. You really can. You really can make it. We're going to start by placing our back right side up on our mat and then we're going to place our front right side down on top of it and we're going to go ahead and sew our shoulder seams. I'm going to be using a serger for this step but you can use any kind of stretch stitch on your sewing machine if you do not have a serger. One thing I've realized at the end of this sew is that my v-neck is a little tight so next time I make it I will make these shoulder seams a little bit narrower so I can open up that v a little bit more but that is really a up to you. Another thing that I'm going to do is prepare my neckband. I'm going to do so by folding it right sides together and at the short raw edge I'm going to use a um, water soluble marker, mark my center, and then go from the corner in and then out to the other side. I'm gonna go down about a half an inch towards the center and then I'm gonna go down the other side using a pin to mark my center point. I'm gonna go and use a straight stitch on my sewing machine and sew over that line that I created. This is what it ends up looking at the end. See this little V here? It's gonna look so good. All right, now we're going to open up our arm side, which is this area here where the sleeve is gonna be located. And we're gonna grab our sleeve. We're gonna mark the top of it, which is our shoulder seam. I'm gonna mark that with a little clip. And then I'm gonna place them right sides together, matching that seam right there. And then going all the way down, right sides together, down that raw edge. I'm going to sew this up with my serger as well, and I'm going to do the same for the other sleeve. Now we're going to work on our neckband. I'm going to grab my neckband, and I'm going to grab some little scissors. And where I sewed up, I'm going to trim that seam allowance. I'm going to trim all the thread and I'm going to seam, uh, trim the seam allowance so I'm going to make a cut right down the middle right up till the threads that I sewed up not cutting the thread but just cutting right up to the thread and then I'm going to cut sideways too so that I can have um, a little bit of a seam allowance there. Next, once I've cut out all the, all the thread and everything, I'm going to open up my neckband and open that seam allowance. And then I'm gonna fold it wrong sides together to close in that seam allowance and create that V-neck. Then I'm gonna quarter my neckband by matching the front and the back and then marking the sides. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the neckline, matching the front and the back and the sides. Once I've done that, I'm gonna grab my neckband, I'm gonna match up that V point to that V point of the dress, and I'm going to go to my sewing machine, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the neckband over towards one side, and sew about an inch away from the V neck point, and sew down to the V neck, and then I'm going to stop at the V neck and pivot my fabric, and then sew down about an inch up towards the other side. I'm gonna do that on my sewing machine. I'm also going to prep my skirt and my ruffle by grabbing one panel, putting it face up, and grabbing the second panel, putting it face down right on top of it, and sewing up those side seams. I'm doing this for the skirt and the ruffle.
While I'm here, I'm also going to put in a gathering stitch at the top of the skirt and at the top of the tier. I'm using a long straight stitch on my sewing machine uh, to just add a little bit of a uh, gathering stitch. Now I'm gonna grab my bodice and fold it right sides together and I'm going to sew up that side seam. For the neckline, I'm going to match up those quarter points that I created and then I'm going to start at the v-neck and sew all the way around. This fabric is a mystery fabric from Walmart and it's a little bit winky, wonky and weird. So it gives me a lot of puckering here at the neckline. One way to fix that is to use steam on your iron. Um, steam, 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 that helps a lot with wavy hems and stuff like that. So I'm gonna give it a lot of steam here. All right, much better. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna mark my front and back on my skirt, on my bodice, I'm sorry, because I'm going to attach my skirt and I wanna know what the front and back is so that way I have a better way to mark, um, to even out my gathers. Then I'm gonna grab my skirt and I'm going to gather it the width of my bodice by pulling on the basting stitch. I like to pull on the bobbin thread and slide it in around to fit my bodice. I'm gonna match up right sides together, the bodice and the skirt after, once I've gathered it evenly. And I'm going to pin it at the quarter points first and then gathering, fixing that gather to fit the whole waistband. Well, the whole waist, not band, because there's no band on this waist, it's just the waist. <laughs> Now I will mention this later, but I wish I would have put some clear elastic here at the waistband because this fabric is very heavy and it pulls my dress down and it doesn't look the best. So that is something that I'm going to change for next time. Now I'm also gathering the ruffle and I'm going to attach it to the bottom of the skirt. And I also wish that I would have made the skirt an inch shorter because it's a little bit too long and the ruffle is the right width length. So I don't wanna shorten the ruffle any more than um, it needs to be shortened. The last step will be to hem my ruffle and my sleeve and I will be doing that at a half an inch and I will be doing that on my cover stitch. All right, we're finished and I think it turned out really well. I did not account for how stretchy the fabric was and it pulls it down a little bit so the hem is a little bit longer than the inspo picture. But um, I think the neckline turned out really well. Um, I don't like super low Vs so I think this, this high of a V works well for me. But if you wanted it to be lower, you could pull it down um, a little bit lower than I did um, by adding extra um, inches at the bottom I remember I had one inch so you can add more than that um, I think it turned out really cute I hope you enjoyed this tutorial comment like share subscribe go grab the pattern come sew it along with me and I'll see you next time bye